Oh, g'day scrappers, yeah, just got a, another Toshiba LCD um, TV here to scrap out. Uh, been scrapping out some CRT TVs, so uh, um, I don't, you know, I, I much prefer to scrap the LCD kind of TVs or even plasmas. Um, it just gives me a lot less to have to get rid of um, that I can't sell. But uh, yeah, this one, um, yeah, a bit rusty. It's obviously been sitting outside for quite a while, um, so it's all rusted out. But uh, yeah, pretty basic looking uh, Toshiba from the outside. Yeah, not a lot. There's a T-Con board at the back here, um, and so the finger strip boards will be over the uh, over the front. So I'll just uh, got another got that power board over the side here. So uh, yeah, bit of wire, but not not a great deal to this one. Um, looks like the main board here is uh, just a basically a power board we'll see what's under this one here this might be all right and yeah and i will just get the scrap value out of this toshiba and see how we go okay so i just uh, finished off scrapping out that toshiba um aside from a little bit of insulated wire and oh uh, you know there wasn't a, a great deal of boards in it it was quite a light tv but some of the boards actually turned out to be really good um, these are just your power boards, so low value ones, but interesting, um, on some of the power boards like, uh, this power board here that, uh, which one did it connect to? It connected to, um, a main board, this main, um, high grade board here. So, um, but this power board, the interesting thing is this little plug that it, uh, connected to, um, connected to the main board like that and so this plug here you pull that out there's obviously there's going to be a little bit of gold plating in there and but as you can see it's it's like a uh, it's a connector between the two boards and really uh, really nice gold pins um, just uh, try and get this thing yeah really nice solid gold pins all the way through so um, Oh, when I say solid, I mean, you know, gold plating all the way through. Uh, but, uh, yeah, really nice pins here. So that's a little bonus that you don't expect to um, be connected to a uh, power board. Um, and also, this, even this very, very basic power board, you know, it's almost like a throwaway one. Um, well, scrap steel anyway. But uh, behind all these little, uh, little kind of shield plates... You know, you, we've got little boards here, and the boards have got, you know, you can see uh, there's uh, three MLCCs on each side. So six MLCCs in there that we can, um, you know, we can get out of each of these. So normally with a, uh, a low-grade board, you wouldn't even think to probably look behind these shields. But, yeah, as I said, you, you can, we can just take off this, this whole board, and that's, you know, it's only a little mid-grade board, you know. But uh, we can take off these um, six MLCCs, which is uh, a nice little bonus. All right, and yeah, so regular power boards, really nice pins. Um, got a nice finger strip here, actually. So we got the, you know, we got our gold finger. We also got some plates here that are really nice gold gold flashed plates. So um, yeah, quite a nice little finger strip board, one sided. Um, the mid-grade board now technically it's a high grade board because it's got the gold corner chip but it's only a mid-grade board because it's got this other sort of junk on it we can leave this and just sell it as a mid-grade board or you can depopulate it um, or um, yeah or you can if you cut this part off here and you can turn this part here into a high grade board and this just into a power board so it kind of balances out uh, that's a TCOM board. Uh, it's actually a really nice one. Um, it's got some really great um, MLCCs all over it. And um, so these will be pretty good quality MLCCs and they're really nice and chunky. And we've got a whole heap of them here. Also, it's a pretty good board. It's got some gold flashing um, on both sides. So if we depopulate this, we could uh, process this board for gold plated as well. 
But uh, yeah, quite a lot of uh, MLCCs all over it. So really nice T-Con board. And that's the main board. And uh, yeah, it's a, a really nice high grade board. Nice chip here, some ICs, nice crystal. And the other side as well, we've got a uh, couple little uh, ICs and a whole heap of uh, little uh, MLCCs. But I don't really worry about these little MLCCs. I just leave them on the board. You know, if I depopulate them, depends how much. Because uh, when you're using the um, air hammer, these little ones will just crumble up. So uh, if you want all these really tiny little MLCCs, I suggest just get a screwdriver and just scrape them off and pick them like that. All right, well, that's that. That was the Toshiba LCD. Um, that's the model number. So power boards mostly, you know, very little of each other board, a little bit of uh, insulated copper. Um, ten, just over 10 kilos of scrap steel so we only ended up getting $2.25 scrap value out of um, out of this stuff if we were to just sell it as it is now to a e-waste buyer but obviously if we depopulate things um, you know we take notice of little gold plated stuff and MLCCs and stuff you get a lot more you know a bit more value out of it like these um, this one here there's really nothing much to it. You might as well just sell it as a power board. Even if you took off these things and threw them in as transformers, you're not going to um, then really get anything for the board and say so you're losing a bit of value. So you're better off just selling the whole thing. Maybe take off this IC chip and, um, and maybe a few of these little MLCCs and sell the rest as a power board. Um, all right, well, keep scrapping, guys. That's the Toshiba LCD. And uh, I think I've got some, I've got a really interesting scrap to do next. Uh, well, it's, uh, what is it? Um, uh, projectors. So, uh, yeah, check out that when, um, when I put that up soon. All right, well, keep scrapping, have fun, and I'll catch you next time.